No one in this world can you trust. Not men, not women, not beasts. This you can trust. Hello and welcome to a special episode of Binding Roll, where we decide to do a trailer reaction to the brand new Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves trailer that just dropped at Comic-Con uh, a few couple days ago. Um, I just wanted to point out, I remember the last time there was a Dungeons and Dragons movie, and I think it was like late 90s, early 2000s, Jason Statham might have been in it. But all I remember was that movie was bad. Um, what are your brothers in there? Uh, were they? <laughs> was Marlon Wayans in that? I don't know. Maybe. I think there there have been a couple of of D and D movies before this. There was one in the late nineties or early two thousands, I think. And yeah. Another one that I think came out after that. I'm trying to look it up right now. Nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless, they were all not very memorable. So let's hope, let's hope this one is. Um, I say we just get right into it. I, I have seen this trailer multiple times. I went through it and like did a little looking at the details of it. Uh, my, our four players here, Erky, Sam, Lode, and Sunset have, are going in clean. They have not seen this trailer. So, um, I say let's get right into it. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Let me know if you guys can hear the sound. Here's the thing. We're a team of thieves. And when you do this, you're bound to make enemies. Sometimes those it's enemies come go. looking for revenge. Okay. Dragons, check. <laughs> I don't know how well a team of thieves would get a work in a true Dungeons and Dragons. Truth be told, true. They're not, all the, they're not all thieves. They're not all thieves. Not all thieves here. They just said they were a team of thieves. We didn't mean to unleash <laughs> the greatest evil the world has ever known. But we're gonna fix it. So how do we pull that off? <laughs> uh, figure it out over a drink. Probably best. You need to. They give us a fighting yeah, chance. Right. We're gonna lose strength. <laughs> you got this, right? Yeah, I know it's already don't. got points for that. I really enjoy it. So we also we need courage, back to school magic, and you. <laughs> no, we'll really that at the end. <laughs> what is that again? It's an owl there. Owl there. We'll address that at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be warned. There is evil here. I'm glad he's on our side. Yeah. Oh, this one's dangerous. Oh, oh, whatever sweet. happens. Okay. We're hitting all the friends. <laughs> I am ready. Cute. That doesn't look like a it's, it's got a lot of class. What is it exactly that you bring to this? Just, I'm a planner. I make plans. You've already made the plan, so... If the existing plan fails, I make a new plan. So you make plans that fail? No. He also plays the loot. Not relevant. Oh, wait, hold up. He's a bard? <laughs> he is a bard. <laughs> I mean, that... Fire. I like, I mean, realistically speaking, if Captain Kirk were a... D and D class? Would he not be a bard? <laughs> Probably fighter, bard, multi class. I, I, part, but he yeah, he bard. inspires his crew, and he seduces every <laughs> woman he comes across. Is that not a bard? <laughs> well, and and say what you want about Chris Pine and his acting in movies, uh, his charisma score is high. So <laughs> we can't fault him for that. <laughs> so from from what I can see, there this is a party of four or five. Chris Pine's the bard. There's the Michelle Rodriguez is a barbarian. Uh, there's the paladin guy who has the armor with the big sword. The druid who looks like a tiefling. She has looks human, but she's got horns that come out of her head. 
And then what was the last one? And then the, the last guy was a, uh, a sorcerer, right? Yeah. Yeah, the guy with the headband that knocked the other yeah. one off with like a pressure wave. Guts to have magic. She may not be a tiefling. Yeah, like, that's what I was wondering. Is she a tiefling or is she not a tiefling? Um, Who else has horns? Unclear. <laughs> Could just be like well, so Pretty, it, uh, it, it could like. also be like because I think high level druids do take on like some like animalistic characteristics, so they could just be like a representation of that. Yeah, but... it doesn't really have a complexion of a <laughs> yeah, but I want to say that there is a, a race that is. I don't know. I, I'm, I, I am I think the like next the next question I had is there's there's three dragons in this trailer. There's the, the black dragon that you just saw on screen, the red dragon at the end, and there's also this white dragon, but people are talking like it's also might be a statue that's coming to life. Let's see if I can find it. So that first dragon, when it did the passing of all the black jets, like, oh, excited, like they're going to be using the different types of dragons. So, like, it's not all fire. And yeah, yeah. Like, oh, they just didn't light it on. So, like, oh, okay, so it's not acid. <laughs> <laughs> that shot was like, you know, person for person, pixel for pixel of a, a game. There's so the other dragon I was looking for. Until it wasn't fire. What dragon so, is... Okay, no, I think she is a tiefling. She's got the tail as well, and oh, the only other okay. race I'm seeing that has any sort of horn... What dragon is this? Is. What dragon is this? That looks like a brass uh, dragon. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. I think it's a little bit brass on, like, the... I mean, like, the... That is like, on the, 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 the facial features and the webbed it's wings black. like that. Maybe, so... I don't know I would say... Uh, brass, copper, or white would be. Yeah, I was thinking a white dragon. When I first saw it, I thought white dragon, but who knows? Uh, and, and then it really depends on the. My um... next. Go ahead. The next question I had is this: this the word what the druid does right now? What is, what spell is this? Right now. Is that a uh, that is that a dimension, dimension door? door? Yeah, I think that's a really I'm cool sure dimension door. I think that's a yeah, really yeah. cool it's interpretation of a of a dimension door. I mean, it's yeah. it's not accurate in the slightest, but <laughs> yeah, you, you know, you get it though. You get like what yeah, the, what the, yeah, yeah. What it's it's what it is. So actually, actually, it might be it might be something else. I think there's a spell that's it's a teleport spell that is. You can teleport black back to a place you're familiar with, but you have to have spent time like in that place. Mm. And so, uh, depending on what the context of the scene is, that might make more sense because it looks like she places it on the ground, yeah, and then kind of falls through it and then comes out the wall. Portable hole. Uh, and then the last question I had for everyone was. Um the classics what classics are we seeing in here first off like uh, the first ones i saw were the mimic the gelatinous cube which i think they're doing a cool thing is they're they're diving into the gelatinous cube to, to get away from the uh the what's the panther thing with tentacles that come out of it the uh displacer the beast the displacer beast yeah. which is also classic class yeah that's, that's the third classic uh, owl what, what are the, and owl bear. the the owl bear, bear and which owl bear. we also have to point out, druids cannot turn into. So okay, okay, <laughs> but here's 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 the thing about that. Open up your PHB or your monster manual or your dungeon master's guide, and look at who the lead is. You will find that it is Jeremy Crawford, who has already tweeted out about this that he can allow it at his table. And if J. Craw allows it, who... <laughs> who are we also, to say? Who are we to say? Uh, well, but also, also, there are two rules at play here that really need to be taken into account that nobody ever... No, nobody's talking about. Rule of cool and rule zero. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. You're damn Fair. right turning into an owlbear is cool. <laughs> and if the DM allows it, who cares? 
people and if they're like actually high level it's not like an owl bear is particularly op so well, sure. and i think uh so there, there's also the thing like uh, uh other things that i've seen pointed out you know uh, so i didn't go into this 100 percent blind i <laughs> i do live on the internet what um uh people were pointing out stuff like you know it would require you know a, like a ninth level spell slot for a true polymorph which would let you turn into an owlbear ah true you know, creature like that so or there's I, there was something else that they were mentioning it's like we don't know what their levels are we have no it's idea it's a good point it's a good point so let's yeah, I um... see character sheets before this, <laughs> before this airs so let's wind this down. Uh, I want a vote from everyone on here. Will it be will it be a thumbs up or will it be a thumbs down? Doesn't have to be the best movie on Earth, but is it a thumbs up? Doesn't have to be the worst movie on Earth, but is it a thumbs down? And for me personally, this is, this is like a, a medium thumbs up. Like, I don't think this is going to be the best movie in the world, but hell, I think I might go to the theater and watch it. It looks fun. Uh, yeah, I agree, and this definitely has the most potential of any of the other one, the other D and D movies uh, that came out so far. So yeah, I think it'd be worth a shot to go see. I'd, I'd do a thumbs up. Okay, Erky. Yeah, I'd say I'd give a, a thumbs up. Certainly with the much wider appeal of D and D, I would hope there's less ways to screw it up because you have more people involved who've actually played before. So, yeah. Uh, Load, what are you thinking? I mean, I think it looks like fun. It might not be great, but it'll at least be, you know, a good time. So I'm going to go thumbs up. Sunset, what do you think? I want you out. So, the sunset has the final opinion here. <laughs> final says. So. Don't hold back. The trailer for the, I think it was 2008, or maybe it was. Okay. Maybe it's 2000, the, whatever the original Dungeons and Dragons movie was. Mm -hmm. um, that also looked really good. So, based on trailer alone, I can't really give it a score. Now, ah. there, n n just in comparison to that. Now, I will say that it does hit a lot of points that were never seen anywhere near the original movie. Yeah, I agree with that. It's hitting yeah. a lot of the classics. We actually have clear-cut roles for these characters. There, I, I think the only named classes in the original movie were were the two thieves. Nobody else had an actual class. Yeah. Whereas here, we can clearly identify each of the main party members as a class. So, it's already heads and tails above that on just plot content alone. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. We'll, and we'll, and we'll see how it shakes out. And they're definitely going for the the action comedy vibe. Like not taking themselves yeah. not not taking D D too seriously. A lot of jokes, a lot of CGI action. Yeah. I get yeah. a lot of. That's well, fine though. Not, yeah, which is bad. like it's fine. That's I, th I think D and D really fits into that class well. You know what I mean? Yeah. The last point I was gonna make is that movie studios these days know how to like give those fan service moments of like the little things people want to see. Yeah. And this will be basically a, a an Avengers movie in the D and D world. So I was thinking it's, it's very and referential, and it'll it's do all very. The tropes. Yeah, it's very Taika Waititi Thor movies, Thor Marvel movies in my mind. That's that, that's the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, it might all be in the trailer. <laughs> all the those tropes and moments that they actually that make sense might all be in this trailer. But, you know, we'll see. I, I would really hope not because yeah, you always hope not so <laughs> much more. There's so much more that they could touch on. Like, we don't know where any of these cities are. We yeah. don't know where this this location is. Like there are named locations that they that look similar to what's there. But if they don't actually come out and say, "Hey, this is this location," then it doesn't matter. It's just some random place they, you know, they threw together that looked cool. It's not a reference to a specific location. And so, like they could very easily just throw in 
you know, basically buzzwords. I yeah, a lot. Better. I think well, I, I I listened to a few other trailer reactions of people who are more into the D and D lore than we are, and he, they were calling out these places as actual uh, um, D and D locations, cities, and right. um, yeah, right, but, right. They look like those locations, but until we hear actual names, they just look like them. They're not actually those locations. No. Yeah. We'll see. But we'll this, see. We'll this have to was find a out. Hasbro studio made this movie too. Yeah. So they have like all the IP in the world to like draw from too. There's no licensing or anything like that. They it's, they're going straight to the source. So I would assume they would throw in you know Baldur's Gate, Neverwinter, Sword Coast, whatever, um, just because they can. Yeah. Yeah. But the next question I want that actually the question I want to end this video on is. If this movie is successful, does it turn into a Dungeons and Dragons cinematic universe, and we go to all the all of our favorite Dungeons and Dragons places with new parties of different classes? Cue up your Drist show. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that was that was going to be my thing. Is like I think if this does well, we'll probably see a more established continuity take some sort of visual media form so we'll get drist we'll get um uh what, what's the other one um i can't remember it's slipping my mind right now um but there, there's a few like very established continuities within the forgotten realms that i imagine have been uh not put in you know in a a film uh, space because they're afraid of it detracting from the already great reception that it has. No, yeah. particularly with the you know with, with previous installments of you know film adaptations of D and D being as poor as they've been. So if this does well, <laughs> they're holding you know, back. Yeah. All right. I, I think we're more likely to see that. So. Well. I'm going to go see this movie. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, hey, if you're watching this and you enjoyed us doing an actual tra trailer reaction, let us know. Maybe we'll do more. But until next time, bye.